On June 5, 2019, eligible voters in Denmark are heading to the polls to elect the 179 members of their parliament, the Folketing. Europe Elects is proud to introduce the main parties, movements, and electoral alliances running in this election. It's important to note that Denmark has three main constituencies, Continental Denmark, which elects 175 MPs, Greenland, which elects two, and the Faroe Islands, which elects two MPs as well. Side note, although the European elections have already been held, we'll be using the number of MEPs that remain in this current legislature, as well as their current group affiliations. The Social Democrats The Social Demokraterne, or the Social Democrats in English, is a center-left social democratic party. It was founded in 1871 and has been the largest party in the Folketing, the Danish parliament, for much of its existence. The party supports expanding and strengthening the welfare state, restricting immigration into Denmark from non-Western countries, for Denmark to be carbon neutral by 2045, and increasing taxes on corporations and high-income earners. The party supports European integration and calls for legislation on social dumping, fair taxation, and working conditions to be made at the European level. The current leader of the Social Democrats is Mette Frederiksen. She's held several ministerial roles in past Danish governments and is currently a member of the Folketing. The Social Democrats are a member of the major center-left European political party, the Party of European Socialists, and the party sits with the Socialists and Democrats within the European Parliament. The Danish People's Party, O. Oh. The Dansk Folkeparti, the Danish People's Party, is a right-wing party which was founded in 1995. It stands on a nativist and strongly anti-immigration platform, calling for a steep reduction of immigration into Denmark and for immigrants to quickly assimilate into Danish society. The party supports retaining the Danish monarchy, reforming the criminal justice system to impose harsher punishment for violent crimes, increased defense spending, and increasing state investment in the health and education systems. The Danish People's Party is opposed to European integration and supports Denmark retaining the Danish krona. The party is currently led by Christian Tilsen Dahl, who has been a member of the Folketing since 1994. The Danish People's Party sit together with the British Conservatives and the Polish Law and Justice Party within the National Conservative Group in the European Parliament, the European Conservatives and Reformists. The Left Venstre or The Left in English, is Denmark's oldest political party, founded in 1870. Despite its name, it's a central liberal party and advocates for a reform of the Danish welfare state, lowering taxes, reducing government regulation and spending, and free trade. The party is in favor of European integration, advocating for the abolition of all of Denmark's opt-outs, including those on the EU's foreign policy and the euro. Since 2009, the party has been led by Lars Løkke Rasmussen, who has held the post of Prime Minister for two non-consecutive terms between 2009 and 2011, and since 2015. On the European level, Venstre is a member of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe party, and its MEPs sit with the ALDE group in the European Parliament. The Red-Green Alliance, ER. Enhedlisten, the Red-Green Alliance, is a democratic socialist and eco-socialist party, it was founded through a merger of several left-wing parties, including the Communist Party of Denmark, in 1989. The party wants to expand and strengthen the welfare state. It wants stronger action against large multinational corporations exploiting the tax system, a quick transition to renewable energy, and the nationalization of certain sectors. It generally supports multicultural policies and LGBT plus rights. The party has been regarded as Eurosceptic in the past, but since Brexit, the party no longer advocates a referendum on Danish membership of the EU, favoring to remain within the Union and to reform it. The party has no single leader. Instead, it's led by a collective leadership. The Red-Green Alliance is a member of the Party of the European Left. The party is also a member of the Maintenant Le Peuple movement led by French Democratic Socialist Jean-Luc Mélenchon. The Liberal Alliance, I. The Liberal Alliance is the center-right party which was founded in 2007. The party supports the reduction of income and corporation taxes, the introduction of gender quotas and employment, the introduction of a social ombudsman to help citizens with welfare issues, and a realist climate policy to ensure Denmark's competitiveness. 
Anders Samuelsson, is the party's leader and is currently the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Liberal Alliance used to have MEPs in both the European People's Party and the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe. Although it holds no representation in the European Parliament, it frequently collaborates with ALDE. The Alternative, or Alternative, the Alternative, is a center-left green political party. It was founded in 2013 and entered the Folketing after the 2015 general elections. The party strongly advocates for Denmark's transition to 100% renewable energy within 25 years, increased public investment in the economy, and a simplification of the welfare state. The party supports further European integration and supports empowering the European Parliament with the right of legislative initiative. The party has been led by Uffe Elbeck since its foundation. He was formerly a member of the Social Liberals and Minister for Culture. He is currently a member of the Folketing for Copenhagen. The alternative cooperates with the pan-European DM25 movement, led by former Greek finance minister Yanis Varoufakis, and is a member of the European political party, European Spring. It intends to sit with the Green European Free Alliance Group. The Danish Social Liberal Party, B. Radikale Venstre, meaning the radical left in English, is a social liberal party which was founded in 1905. It promotes a green agenda, calling for stronger regulation on air and water pollution. Furthermore, it advocates for the integration of immigrants into the Danish workforce and the introduction of national and local referendums in the Danish political system. The party strongly supports European integration. Since 2014, Morten Oestergaard has been the leader of the party. He was formerly deputy prime minister in the Thorning Schmidt government between 2014 and 2015. The Social Liberals are members of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe and sit with the Alde Group in the European Parliament. The Socialist People's Party, F. The Socialistic Volke Party, the Socialist People's Party, is an eco-socialist party. The party was founded in 1959 after a split within the Communist Party of Denmark over the Soviet intervention in the 1956 Hungarian Revolution. The party supports the quick expansion and strengthening of the welfare state, a quick transition to renewable energy sources to achieve a carbon-neutral Denmark, the introduction of a grant for individuals to buy electric cars, and a tax increase on the highest earners. The party has historically been Eurosceptic, but has become more pro-European in recent years. The current leader of the Socialist People's Party is Pia Olsen Dier. The Socialist People's Party is a member of the European Green Party and sits with the Greens European Free Alliance Group in the European Parliament. The Conservative People's Party, C. The Conservative Volke Party, or the Conservative People's Party, is a conservative political party founded in 1916. The party wants to eliminate corporate taxation, increase military spending, increase spending on the Danish police force, and increase the quality of health care. The party supports European integration. The leader of the party is Sodem Papa Posen, the current Minister of Justice. The party is a member of the center-right European People's Party, and its MEPs sit with the EPP group in the European Parliament. The Christian Democrats, K. The Christen Demokraterne, or the Christian Democrats, is a right-wing conservative political party founded in the 1970s. It's failed to gain any seats in the Folketing since 2005. The party supports giving asylum seekers the right to enter the labor market the moment they apply for asylum, giving asylum to persecuted Christians, a transition to renewable energy, and lowering the VAT. The party supports European integration, but is opposed to a constitution for Europe or any kind of federal Europe. The party leader is Isabella Arendt. The Christian Democrats are members of the European People's Party. Nia Borlea, D. Nia Borlea, the new right in English, was founded in 2015 by two former members of the Conservative People's Party. The party wants to drastically curtail immigration into Denmark, calling for the deportation of all immigrants who do not, quote, positively contribute to Danish society. The party supports liberal economic policies, such as the reduction of taxes and the abolition of a corporate tax. The party is staunchly Eurosceptic and calls for Denmark's withdrawal from the European Union. The party is currently led by an architect, Pernil Vermund. As it stands right now, the party does not have any formal ties to Euro parties or political groups within the European Parliament. Stram Kurs, P. Stram Kurs, or the hard line in English, is an extreme right ethno nationalist party 
which was founded in 2017. The party supports deporting all foreigners, only allowing ethnic Danish children and children they adopt to live in the country, with an exception for spouses of Danes with a background in Western European culture, tourists, or diplomats. The hard line further supports restricting welfare payments to ethnic Danes only. The party is strongly Eurosceptic and calls for Denmark to leave the European Union. Rasmus Paludan, a lawyer and activist, is the founder and leader of the party. It does not have any ties to any European parties or political groups within the European Parliament. Klaus Risker Pedersen, E. Klaus Risker Pedersen is an economically liberal party founded in 2019. The party supports eliminating the income tax, the use of biofuels, the introduction of climate impact assessments for all new legislation, the decriminalization of cannabis, and for Denmark to enter into repatriation agreements with other countries. The leader of the party, Klaus Rieskart Pedersen, does not support the Danish adoption of the euro, but supports a common EU climate and migration policy. Pedersen was formerly an MEP for Venstre. The party currently does not have any ties to euro parties or political groups within the European Parliament. The current MPs for Greenland are members of Descendants of Our Country and Community of the People. The first is a center-left social democratic party which supplies confidence to the government, while the second is a left-wing opposition party. Representing the Faroe Islands are the center-left social democratic party and the left-wing pro-independence republic party.